Hey everyone, I'm LC Gamer, and welcome back to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. In the uh, last part, we were about to head over to the underground. Right, Kyoko? Uh -huh. Alright. So, I need to find my way to the map. And find my way to the underground. And there's the underground. Underpass. Underground. Same thing at this point. Did you arrive at the underpass? The gate we need to unlock is inside. The control panel should be beside you. Do you see it? Connect, jump, and do it, and unlock the gate. Okay. Hmm. What happened? What? Connect jumped isn't working. That's strange. It's, uh, it's an electronic lock, so there should be some kind of network inside it. Perhaps it's just that you didn't activate the connect jump properly. Right, I think it's time I verified your ability to perform a connect jump. Raise your hand. Now concentrate. Okay. Now what? That's it. Now it's not working. Three minutes later. Still not working. One hour later. No, nope, not working. Three hours later. A hundred years later. What were you doing just now? Whatever you're doing, it seems like it's not working. I'm doing what you told me to do. Oh no. It looks like I can't verify it. Well, it seems that you are only connect... You can only connect jump if you feel disappointed. If I were to posit a theory as to how you, your connect jump works, your ability locates digital wave, piggybacks on it to the target location's digital space, and then enters it. It can be a network, a PC, server, it doesn't matter what the target location is, if it has a digital space, then you should be able to access it. However, there seems to be certain limitations when interfering with the digital wave. In other words, when you can, you can, and when you can't, you can't. Good to know, Kyoko. What we're determining is that you connected before by chance, even if there are specific reasons why you are able to each time. Put simply, cause and effect are connected to the digital waves. Wait a second, how could you connect jump this time then? I don't have any proof to support my answer, but perhaps there were others like you who tried and failed to open the lock and were disappointed. Yes, disappointment is definitely key. I don't think I was disappointed, I think I was just frustrated. I've rambled on long enough, please get this lock opened as quickly as you can. Sure, sure. Alright. What do I have to expect battle-wise in here? Okay, so a few Tintomon. Okay. 
Alright. What else? Oh, what do we have there? A yellow key card. Copy and paste. Okay. Gotcha. Copy paste. Now, where's the other stand for this? You guys again. Sure, Lilamon, whatever you say. This is not Edamon's victory pose. That's just weird. And paste. There we go. The door should be unlocked now. Let's head back and check. But there's something over here, isn't there? No. Okay. Too bad I can't connect... exit the connect connection here and then just jump out. I have to go all the way back to the entrance. Or in this case, the exit. First time I've seen you guys for a while, but I gotta repeat the process. Okay, Lila. to go here. They wanted me to go through the door. So why did I leave? Go. Yes, yes. Oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. This is bad. It seems you've managed to unlock the gate, so thanks for that. It must have been easy for you, given your skill. Uh, we have a problem, though. What? There's a bit of a labyrinth in the underground tunnel? What do you, mi what do you mean by a bit? Is there any sign of Digimon or an Eater in there? Not that I can see. I see. It's strange to see just a small section of a labyrinth. I know I said we couldn't know what we would find, but I wasn't expecting that. I believe we have witnessed a special digital wave occurrence. It's as if it's some kind of current. I see, this is definitely a ley line. Ley line? Have you ever heard of ley lines before? There are many in Tokyo. They are also called Dragon Chains. I've heard of them being called the uh, Dragon Vein, but not a chain. Dragon signifies the under undiluted landscape, the hills and mountains. Dragon Chain is what we call the flow of the land spirit. It's well known that to see Tinkai advised to uh, Tokugawa turned Edo into a great feng shui city. I don't think I pronounced that right at all, but oh well. 
It is said that he built a waterway and path to lead this chi from Mount Fuji and Tokyo Bay to Edo Castle. Edo, Edo. Uh, I always get that part mixed up. Of particular note, in the instance are Ken. It, all these names. Hard for me to pronounce. Without getting tongue tied. Asakusa Shrine to the northeast. In. Sojoji He Shrine to the southwest. All being religious institutions. Alright. If Feng Shui, those directions are thought to draw negative energy their way. The shrines hold big festivals to purge and expel that energy. And if you look at the lines that connect Buddhist temples and Shinto shrines, you'll find they cross right inside Old Edo Castle. Come to Tokyo's, today's Tokyo Imperial Palace. It's really quite fascinating for you to see. Nowadays, the waterways have been swapped out for rail lines and radio towers. Alright. <coughs> Viewed from the eyes of current society, those rail lines and radio towers are artificial ley lines. Okay. I feel like I'm getting a history lesson right now. Naturally, where you're standing underground cons constitutes another ley line running through Tokyo 2. Not just any ley line either. The one that's believed to emanate from Mount Fuji is supposed to run right through here. Ew. That's not good. That's not good at all. Quasi labyrinth you're seeing before you. Okay. Those weird voices that people are supposedly hearing probably belong to Digimon that are appearing as a result. Okay. Alright. So far, I'm following. Take that to mean you understand it well enough then. Yep. At this point, your work is essentially done, but we can't exactly just ignore this newfound discovery of yours, either. Why don't you go a little further in and check things out for me? Sure thing, boss. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, two new cases. Okay. Quiz time. Who has the silver body, white wings, and the move disaster blaster? White wings? Silver body? Okay, now I understand. Shaku, Lotus, or Hahu. How do you say that? This one. I don't know how to say that one. I think it's this one. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So bite me. Anyway, uh, what do we have here? Giant gate. And. A fork in the road. Left or right? Left or right? Any, any, money, money, you take? Right. Now I have to figure out which way is which anyway. 
Oh, this one has a gate on it. Can't go this way then. Well. That sucked. So for that uh, route picking, no go. And again, the tunnel just keeps on going, you say? It stays on course like that. You're going to end up in Rapungi, which would mean, you know, the remain. This reminds me of something else I've heard about before. As I mentioned before, Tokyo's ley lines stem from Mount Fuji. Another history lesson, okay. Interesting. Actually, yes. That would be. Wow. Stop right there. Don't go any further. Okay. You're standing at the border of the municipal... Go any further and you'll be in central government territory. That's a hive we best not poke. But I'm already here. I should poke it. Color me intrigued, though. That's a hell of a thing to stumble into just walking around inside the tunnel. We aren't prepared just yet to pick that sort of fight. There's still too much we don't know. You know, you're right on that, but I'm still already here. This little tangent of ours has gone on long enough. I think head back the way you came and re re regroup at the office. I'm getting tongue-tied again. Okay, so why don't you call me back? Though it's not as strong as we're used to, that tunnel is causing a digital shift. We should probably keep it locked up like before, after all. I have no idea how I'm going to explain all of this to our client. No matter how you spin it, it'll probably all be a lot of take lot to take in. I wouldn't be surprised if we came away looking even sketchier than we already do. Let's just let Detective Matayoshi deal with it. Some jobs are just best left to others. You're curious what exactly was actually behind where you stopped? Yes. That makes two of us. Believe me, actually while you were on your way back, I decided to look into it a little bit. Apparently what you found was Kamashiro Research Lab. Of all things. Come to share a research lab. Now that's an interesting. Do that does that mean we have to report to Yoko? Or Yuko? How do you pronounce her name? Yuko? Yoko? Yugo? Yogo. No. Oh don't be dense, I told you. That area is under the jurisdiction of the central government. That's not the sort of place you wander into for fun. If nothing else, it indicates that Kamashiro and the government have a tighter relationship than what we previously suspected. I could have told you that. Going after Kamashiro would well mean that we'd also be ruffling the government's feathers. Really? 
Oh, great. Conspiracy theories. <sighs> That's why we can't be hasty right now. We'll do what we can to prepare and cross that bridge when we come to it. This is just a guess on my end, but... I man imagine it was Kamashiro that changed the password on that door and rendered it impossible to get open. They probably weren't counting on us being able to actually break in and snoop around. Knowing that, it could well serve us our, as our ace in the hole later when the time does come to infiltrate them, hopefully unaware. Kyoko. Kyoko! Might as well just call you Yoko. Kyoko, you are talking an awful lot. But again, let's not worry about hashing out the details until we have to. And just be grateful we have that up our sleeves if we need be. On that note, I realize this case is technically closed, but what do you say about heading over to Rapungi for, for me one more time? Sure. I don't mean an official on official business, rather I'm keen on doing a little independent intelligence gathering for our own internal use. Surely you're interested in knowing why Kamashiro has built a research lab underneath the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, too, right? So how about you just walk on through the front door there and see what you can find. Sound good? Yeah, why not? Uh, hey, I got that right. <laughs> Two new cases, and... Uh, property and property. Okay, I'll deal with those at a later time. Okay, so for Pungi. Tokyo Metro Metropolitan Building. Ooh. Oh. Are you here for a tour at the lobby? Please come on inside. I just... Ow. Okay. Sure, thanks. You must be confused. Let me explain. Construction on this new metropolitan building isn't entirely completed as of yet. Well, it was at one point... That is, until a major firm came in and it was decided the upper floors merited additional construction. As such, while that's going on, the lobby here remains free and open to the public to visit. Okay. Did you make it inside the building? Not yet. Alright, I get you. So, they're alright with you hanging around the lobby. Well, that makes our work a little easier then. Go on in. Oh, all you need at this point is a terminal somewhere so you can infiltrate their system. Piece of cake at this stage, I'd say. So once you find the terminal, just slip on in and work your magic like always. Wish I was there to see it myself. Seems like quite the sight. It reminds me of the Tokyo, the Tower of Babel in a way. Okay. Yes, you are. No, I don't worry, though. Don't worry about me. I feel free to get back to work now. Thank you. Oh. I can't go upstairs. Okay. This is, um... This is gonna be interesting. 
Okay, there's a, a small digital shift appearing here. Something wrong out there. Oh, you found a terminal that's digital shifting a little. If this shift is weak, well, still prom prominent enough for you to notice it, it should be a sign this place will turn into a labyrinth later on. Okay, that's scary. Well, for now, let's connect jump into it. We have no idea what could be inside there, so stay on your feet, alright? Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. Um, I'm going to reduce the amount of encounters I have. At least for now. Bug recovery. That's good. Oh, hey guys. Holy cow! Okay, Edamon, calm down. I know that you're thinking you did a great job, but calm down. The eater. Oh, better save. All right. Let's go on in. Hi there. Uh, I don't think I can do any real damage to you. Him to sleep, but I can still try. Well, that hit heavy. And for some reason, I knew you were going to hit the guy in the shell. Um, 
we go. Here, have some water. And the poison killed him. Well, I got lucky. So you found an eater inside there after all. But you couldn't find any other evidence of you know. You're not seeing the forest for the trees here, Amy. The fact that there was an eater inside the terminal at all is big evidence in and of itself. Regardless, let's call it a day here and get on back to the office now. There's probably hard work going on, going all over the place today, but thanks to you, I think I'm starting to piece it all together now. While you were out and about, I decided to measure the digital wave coming out of that building. I found out that the Metropolitan Government Building, I'm just going to call it the MGB for now, or the Government Building, itself is one big digital wave force field. Say what? Yeah, that. From what I can tell, energy is flowing straight into the Tokyo Metropo Metropolitan Government Building via the ley line inside the underpass. Okay, so that underground lab Kamashiro has beneath the building is probably controlling the energy flow. You remember what I said about ley lines when you were inside that tunnel, don't you? Yes. There are two types, there are two things at play here. The natural energy flow from the earth along the ley lines and digital waves emitting from the sea of electronics. Okay. Oh, bother. Well, for one, digital waves might be invisible to the naked eye, but they have mass and therefore require a vessel. And the bigger the vessel is that, can <coughs> that contains those waves, the more energy you can build up. It probably also explains the new construction going on. Is more space would mean that much more energy Mashiro could stockpile. Okay. Hence the digital shift you ran into in the lobby. And with any good digital shift comes an eater, of course. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if that place goes labyrinthian eventually. But we don't have to be concerned about that threat anymore now that you've cleared out, cleared the joint up. I'm not sure. I'm still worried. On the other hand, it's worrying in its own way. That thing resolved so cleanly this time. The fact that digital waves can be concentrated in such small quantities as to attract individual eaters and produce a micro labyrinth is scary. If you hadn't been there, it might well not have been caught until much later. The whole thing doesn't sit well with me at all. This case has taught us that there's technology that can mostly suppress large amounts of digital waves as they're built up and placed wherever. 
Oh yeah, that's for sure. The deliberate and calculated nature of it all indicates that somebody's big got big plans in the works. Suffice it to say. This, of course, calls for more investigating. We need to figure out how long this has all been going on and just what exactly it's for. Let's keep our eyes peeled as we move forward. Amy? We're into something here, I know it. Yay. Oh. One new case added. And what's this? Oh. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna... Take a break here and, uh... See you guys in the next part. So, until then, bye! Okay. 